Yo, 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 this is Sol, also known as SPL Gum, also known as Spatial Gum, also known as Grunt. Your team skull Grunt. And this is Pokemon Masters EX. Guys, um, this has been quite requested for the past few days. I promise you guys I'll be doing a theory video. A Pokemon Masters theory video or something. Um, this is not a prediction video or anyway. This is just what I think and uh, what I think could be the unprecedented or the sync pair with unprecedented capabilities as you can see over there. So a lot of people are actually guessing that it's Ash and Ash Greninja. But uh, some people are saying that, oh, it might be Deanza and Gardevoir or, or some other sync pair. You know what? What makes a sync pair have unprecedented capabilities? The, the, the game, the letter from the Pokemon Masters team said it's going to be a sync pair that has unprecedented capabilities, blah, 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 blah. You know what? We are going to, or I will try my best to discuss this in several parts with you guys. So I'm actually planning, I was actually planning to do this in one straight part. Unfortunately, it wasn't working. My mind is just so many things to want to discuss and I could not make any progress at all with this video. So before I waste any more time, I want to make a part one, part two, part three, whatsoever. This is part one. So part one, we are going to discuss what probably makes a sync pair have unprecedented capabilities. There are a lot. Probably a sync pair that has more than one lucky skill. Possible. I'm gonna discuss that in a later video. Probably Dynamax. They did say that Dynamax is in development. Probably. Might be a bit complex to analyze that. Or how about some insane, insane passive skills? You know, Signesu Thread, what makes him quite OP is that Signesu Thread has both um, Heat Wave and Blast Burn. Blast Burn is like 90% accuracy if I'm not mistaken. And the good thing about Signesu Thread is that he has Piercing Gaze. Piercing Gaze basically makes your hits never miss the opponent so if the opponent is super irritating uses x evasion x evasion all or something signesu thread will never miss no matter what because of piercing gaze that's what makes signesu thread quite precious at least in my eyes signesu blue there's the um team fist bump team trash tank is not part of his passive skills but it is part of his synchron which also becomes his passive skills if you select those options in his sync grid. And then he also has um, team um, team force or rather force field one or something like that. And then team fist bump if you get hit, there's a chance or there is a 100% chance of either increasing your attack or special attack or both. And then there's Cygnus Suit Leaf who has... Um, Whatchamacallit, Cygnus Suit Leaf has, uh, you know what, I'm forgetting. Uh, the, 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 the passive skill that makes opponents get poisoned, Razor Leaf combined with that passive skill. What is the name of your passive skill? Give me a sec. Cygnus Suit Leaf has Venomous 4, which has a good chance of leaving the target badly poisoned when a move targeting the opponent is successful. So Razor Leaf can hit everyone and then this has a, a huge chance or a very big chance of making everyone badly poisoned. Sundering 9, every time you, oppone, you attack the opponent can lower the opponent's defense or special defense or both. So these actually what makes a sync pair good or great passive skills having very good passive skills is amazing turns a sync pair into a super strong powerhouse and then we have those multipliers um let's say um 
we have um, Barry. Barry has both inertia and cakewalk. Inertia, the higher your speed is, the stronger your sync move is. Um, cakewalk, the lower the opponent's sync uh, speed is, the higher your sync move damage. So stuff like that, passive skills, passive skills, passive skills actually make a sync pair very strong. And in this episode or in this part, I would like to discuss with you passive skills that have been released in the game as well as unreleased passive skills that probably are in data mine because they are available or they have been obtained a less of those passive skills have been obtained by websites including this website Bulba, Bulba Garden or Bulbapedia.com or Bulbapedia.net Cerebi.net has a list of passive skills that have been um, released or announced or whatsoever some of these passive skills are also found in opponents so if you do co-op if you actually did Mewtwo's event before 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 Mewtwo can or or uh, Giovanni and Mewtwo can actually increase their stats I forgot plus six if I'm not mistaken every single almost a lot of stats plus six so that was kind of insane as well today again let's just discuss because you know some of these skills are in legendary arena some of those bosses have strong passive skills let's just begin I have you know copy pasted all these into a spreadsheet as you can see over here passive skills let's talk about these one by one eliminate the not so good ones and focus on the good ones so acuity uh, accuracy cannot be lowered let's delete this not so very good i guess acumen 9 every time you use a move you raise your special defense not bad not bad not bad quite good Adrenaline 1, there's Adrenaline 2 though. So let's delete Adrenaline 1. Adrenaline 2 reduces the sync move countdown by 2 when a sync move is used for the first time. Um, currently, who has these passive skills? Let me lower or make things smaller. Signasuit Leaf and Alder has um, Adrenaline 2. Acumen 9, uh, Lysia has it. I think this this is Moonblast or something like that. Aggravation 1 raises this chance of inflicting the flinching, confused trap conditions. We have someone with Aggravation 4 though. And that is Volkner and Luxray. Which every time you use, um, whatchamacallit, that uh, Thunderfang... Has, can actually flinch the opponent quite a huge chance of flinching the opponent as well as I think he also has hostile environment 4 which has a very big chance as well of making the opponent paralyzed but guys there are also aggravation 5 6 7 8 and 9 9 these Things are not yet available with any sync pairs. What if a sync pair has aggravation 9? Every time you attack, the opponent flinches. What do you think? That is pretty overpowered. That is quite overpowered. Um, we have Agile Entry. Raises the user's evasiveness when the Pokemon enters a battle. There's Agile Entry 2 though. And I would argue that Agile Entry is pretty good. I would rather get this rather than um, acuity, accuracy cannot be lowered. I would rather get evasiveness. Evasiveness, quite a good skill. All ramped up one. Raises the special attack of all allied sync pairs when a move is successful. By the way, guys, some of these passive skills are actually coupled with um, the trainer moves of the sync pairs. So, um,. For example, let's talk about Volkner. Let's let's just set an example. For example, Volkner has make some sparks. For example, make some sparks. You can only use it two times. And uh, if, for example, 
there's make some sparks all ramp up one there's nothing like that guys there's nothing like that but for example use uh, make some sparks make some sparks raises the special attack of all allied sing pairs when all ramp one is successful so you raise this you raise your um special attack by two levels after using all the mp of make some sparks but what if this is a normal passive skill not coupled to a trainer move for example this is just a normal passive skill so basically every time you use an attack everyone's special attack goes up or for example let's say um thunder fang thunder fang all ramp up one which doesn't make sense because thunder fang is a physical attack and we are raising the special attack of all sync pairs so you get what i what i mean guys what if this is not tied up with a trainer move but instead something you can use forever multiple times so with just six different attacks you can get everyone's special attack to plus six so yep that that that's all i want to say moving on guys Amped up one raises the Pokemon speed when it lands a critical hit. There's amp up two though, from Olivia and Lycan Rock. So let's put it there. Every time you land a critical hit, um, your your speed goes up. Anti freeze, anti toxin, um, arresting glare. I don't think they're um, that great. There's backfire one and backfire two. Let's remove this since there's backfire two. Every uh, each time or before you faint, every single opponent will have their attack and special attack stat lowered by two. If there is something called backfire six, and if you faint, every single opponent will have their attack minus six, special attack minus six, which is pretty OP. But there's no such thing like that right now. Um. Guzma, Hilda, and Glazia have Barricade 1, raises the user's special defense when a move is successful. Now, if I'm not mistaken, Barricade 1 is um, coupled with the trainer move. I might be mistaken by this. But every time you use a move, or every time you this triggers your special defense, goes up by one level. Which is... Okay, not bad, not bad. There's Barricade Buddies though, raises the special defense of all allied sync pairs when a move is successful. So something like all ramped up one except that you raise the special defense of all allied sync pairs each time you use a move. Quite good, quite good. Bedazzle one lowers the accuracy of all by minus one when a Pokemon enters the battle. Not that great. Beef up four has a good chance of raising the user's attack when it is hit by an attack move. Not that great because we have um, Signasuit Blue's uh, passive skill that is better than this. Befuddle 1 lowers the special defense of all al of all opposing sync pairs when the Pokemon enters in battle. Nah. Benefactor, basically only useful in co-op. Let's just release this. Berserk Bunch 1. Raises the attack of all allied sync pairs when a move is successful. If I'm not mistaken, Jasmine gets this with Clang. So you can use Clang uh, two times unless there's an MP refresh. And every time you use Clang, if you have this Berserk Bunch, your attack goes up by one level every single one. But again, like what I said with Barricade Buddies and all ramp up one, what if you have Berserk Bunch with a normal move? Just a passive skill, not tied up with any trainer move or not tied up with any attack move. Every time you attack or move, you know, everyone's attack goes up by one level. Pretty OP. Pretty OP if we have that. Berserker 1 um, raises the attack when a move is successful. I think Berserk Bunch 1 is better than Berserker 1. It's a bit similar. It's quite similar. Let's remove Berserker 1 and just take Ber Berserk Bunch 1 into 
into consideration here. Blind spot. The more the user's evasiveness has been raised, the more it powers up moves. Um, Professor Oak, Misty, Koga, and Morty got this as their passive skill. Blind spot. Very good um, passive skill. Block and heal. Block and lunge. Only for Pierce and Obstagoon. I'm re removing this right now. Bob and Weave. The more your evasiveness has been raised, the more it powers up moves. Basically, blind spot for sync moves, bob and weave for normal moves. Also not bad. Boiling points. Um, personally, I really don't like these moves that say, when in a pinch. Because when in a pinch, that means your HP is low. And you're only gonna be able to trigger these things when your HP is very low, which is not the thing we're looking for. Not OP enough, guys. Bounce back five. There's a very good chance of raising the user's attack if any of your stats have been lowered. If we're being picky, no, this is not good enough. Brain barrier eight. Um, no description, but let's talk about brain brawn five and eight first. Brain Brawn 5 reduces damage when the user is hit by a special attack move. And Brain Brawn 8 reduces damage when the user is hit by a special attack move. Now I just got um I just got Wallace earlier and if I remember correctly he is Turner Stuff 2. Sterner Stuff 2 reduces damage when you are hit by a physical attack move. So if you're hit by a special attack move, this reduces the damage by around 80%, I think. And that is quite OP. I'm not sure what Brain Barrier 8 is, but if this is something that defends everyone instead of just a single sync pair. So uh, probably a, a more better version of Brain Brawn 8 probably reduces damage for all allied sync pairs when you're hit by a special attack move or something. I have no idea. But that is pretty OP. Brain Teaser. The more the target's special defense has been lowered, the more it powers up moves. Not bad. Um, perfect together with a Palantine's Dawn who has fake tears to lower the opponent's special defense. Um, Brainy Rush radically raises the user's special attack after it uses a sync move. Um, this is only good for Brendan if you actually use, if you don't have Dauntless on him, and every time you use Leaf Storm, your special attack goes down by two levels. I personally don't think Brainy Rush is that great, so I'm gonna remove it right now. Brawn Barrier 8. So, if Brain Barrier is a special attack move, Brawn Barrier might be for physical moves for everyone? I don't know. So, reduces damage for all allied sync pairs when the user is hit by a physical attack move? Something maybe? I don't know. Probably, if that's the case. OP! Very OP. Brutal Clarity. The more the user's accuracy has been raised, the more it powers up moves. A bug guard, bug shift, delete. Build up ensures the next um, uh, user's attack will be a critical hit after using a sync move. Not great enough. Delete bulk buster for the higher your HP, the stronger your move is. Bulk buster four might not be that OP, but what if this is a bulk buster nine? The more your HP is, the stronger your sync moves are. So you know what? I am going to include a bulk buster 9 probably. I'm probably gonna highlight these in like red. Just to say that there's no such sync pair that has... Or it's not... There's no such thing as that. Burn synergy 3. Burn synergy 5. Powers up move when the target is burned. Um... It's possible to have burn synergy, especially if there's Leon and probably Gigantamax Charizard coming. 
but right now it's Flannery and Torkoal. What if this is Burn Synergy 9, guys? So, the stronger, or rather, if the target is burned, your um, moves get way, way, way stronger. So let me just put that in. Burst in ensures that you will land a critical hit. Not good enough. Cakewalk, a multiplier for sync moves. Good. I always like carry on one. Uh, every time e uh, another Pokemon on the field of play faints, your attack goes up by one level. Again, this could be quite OP if this is carry on six. This can be like radically raises the user's attack. I think radically means plus six. Radically raises the user's attack each time um, opponent any. And no, not just opponent, but even your field of play each time someone faints. You know, you, you recall you you have a very huge increase in in attack. Catalytic cure one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, there's nine. Restores the user's HP when a user's when a move is successful. Um Lilian Clefairy gets this in X accuracy all basically if you use X accuracy all you recover a little bit of HP. Again, this is tied to a trainer move. What if this is not tied to a trainer move, guys? So every time, every single attack, you land on the enemy, you recover HP. And not just a little HP, but quite a lot of HP. Now, I don't think this will be possible in the game. I don't think the game will make a sync pair this overpowered, but what if? What if? What if? What if? Um, charging sun two, three, five, six. I will not eliminate these because there's a possibility for um, you know, like I said, Leon and Charizard probably. To appear but there's too many Charizards in the game already but you know when it's sunny your moves get powered up again I'll probably not go for Charging Sun 6 but Charging Sun 9 make it a bit more OP since the game wants us to think that this the unprecedented capabilities sync pair strong strong clean slate um, champion stadium we've seen this Basically lowers all, removes all status conditions, lowers or re restores all lowered status um, stats, lowered stats. Um, not OP enough, pretty good but not OP enough, let's remove that. Clear headed prevents the Pokemon from being confused, let's remove that. Clear view lowers the evasiveness of currently targeted opponent when defog is successful. No, not OP enough. Clock out puts the target to sleep when a same move targeting the opponent is successful. Lyra and Jigglypuff. Um, is it possible? Are there any other sync pairs that can that can make the opponent fall asleep? If it's a six-star EX striker with clock out, do you, do, you, do you guys think there's any sync pairs with clock? You know what? I am gonna keep it there just in case. Having everyone fall asleep after a sync move, especially if it's a 6 star EX striker, might be awesome. Um, so I'm gonna leave it here. Cold Front starts a hailstorm when you enter the battle. Not good enough. Um, Cold Snap has a moderate chance of leaving the target frozen when a move targeting an opponent is successful. Steven and Lolan Sandslash, which I have yet to get to 3 out of 5. And you know what? This is only a moderate chance, but what if an ice type sync pair that could be QRAM, that could be um, Kali Rex, no, no, Glass Trier, 
that could be Ice Rider, Calyrex. What if this is Cold Snap 9 and it's something like Leaves? My keyboard is broken. Leaves the target frozen when a move targeting an opponent is successful. Every time you land a hit on the opponent, the opponent immediately freezes. Now, I'm probably exaggerating a bit. These might not be 9, these might like just be 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. But you know, let's just exaggerate in this video right now. Confusion Boon 3 and 5 um, powers up moves when the target is confused, powers up moves when the target is confused. Again, probably would be good to have Confusion Boon 9, which makes your moves a lot more powerful when you're confused but we have so many sync pairs with outrage already and i don't think it's gonna be it's gonna be something like that together with this we have confusion synergy which probably would be good if this is confusion synergy five, 9 powers up moves when the target is confused very very strong damage if you com if you um, fuse confusion boon nine confusion synergy nine much much strong damage catastrophe two Guzman Golesapod has this um, powers up moves if they become critical hits or powers up sync moves if they become critical hits what if this is catastrophe nine and this also pairs up with critical strike two. So, Critical Strike something plus Critastrophe 9. Ugh, brr, brr. Critical Countdown has a small chance or occasionally reduces the sync move countdown by 1 when you land a critical hit. Let's delete this. Again, let's exaggerate. Let's put Critical Countdown 9. And every time you land a critical hit, the sync move countdown reduces by one again some op skills here a bit unrealistic but who knows what pokemon masters will do critical ferocity 2 has a moderate chance of raising the user's attack when it lands a critical hit you know what personally critical ferocity critical focus critical fortification 6 Nah, delete. This is better. Raises the user's special attack when they land a critical hit. Raises the user's attack when they land a critical hit. Raises the user's critical hit rate of all allied sync pairs when a move is successful. Um, critical Squad 1, I think, is, is paired up with um, Sabrina's X. Dire hit all rather, dire hit all. So it becomes like a dire hit all plus or something like that. But if this is not paired up with any trainer move again, this would be awesome. Critical intellect, probably, you know what? What if this is something like this? And again, it's something that go goes like radically raises the user's special attack when they land a critical hit radically raises the user's attack when they land a critical hit so attack plus six special attack plus six you don't even have to charge up your sync pairs anymore raises the critical hit rate of all allied sync pairs if a move is successful um do you do you do you guys think that this is good enough huh Probably um, three. I think it's it. Three is like drastically right. Drastically raises the critical hit rate of all allied sync pairs when a move is successful. So basically, um, if this is not tied up to a trainer move, you attack. You know what? This would be cool if a sync pair actually has these three passive skills. Not linked to any moves. You attack. 
Um, yeah, you attack for the first time, everyone gets critical hit rate plus 3. And then on your next attack, since it's gonna be a critical hit, your special attack and attack goes up by 6 levels. So you only need 2 attacks to maximize your critical hit rate, your attack stat, and your special attack stat. That would be OP as heck. That would be OP as heck. Um, critical Sting 1, when critical hits land, raises the chance of making blah 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 blah. Personally, I'd rather go for Aggravation. So, delete. Critical hit Strike 1. You, you guys know what Critical Strike is. There's Critical Strike 9, though. And uh, Palkia, Cyrus and Palkia... What makes him very good is Critical Strike 9. And I would love to see, probably, you know, not all sync pairs have both physical and special attacks. So probably, what if there's Critical Squad 3? Either one of these, Critical Intellect 6 or Critical Hit Might 6, plus Critical Strike 9. Ooh, strong. Um, Critical Will 6 has a great chance of raising the user's special defense when the user lands uh, a critical hit. Basically, um, let's just make it Critical Will 9 raises the user's special defense when the user lands a critical hit. Might be better. Um, not the best, but let's just keep it there critical fuse lo leaves the target confused when the user lands a critical hit i don't think there's any other sync pair that's gonna get this other than fall as a roller so i'm gonna release this right now danger dodge sharply raises the user's evasiveness when the user's hp drops to half or below i don't think anyone will get this aside from guzma because of emergency escape of guzma and golisopod Dark Guard, I don't think that's good. Dark Power 5, Lysander will get that. So I'm gonna remove that. Dark Shift, Hilbert already has that. Dauntless, Special Attack cannot be lowered. I'm removing that as well. Defense Crush has a small chance of lowering. Has a good chance of lowering defense. Let's just call it Defense Crush 9. And lowers the target's defense when an when an attack against it is successful that would probably be much better but 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 we already have something better than defense crush 9 in the form of Cygnus suit leaf which is um sun i think it's sundering 9 so i think i'm going to delete this because sundering 9 is much better than defense crush 9 because it can lower either though, either the defense or special defense or both. So Sundering 9 is much better than Defense Crush 9. Defense Rush raises the user's defense after using a sync move. Boo, not good. Demoralize 1 lowers the attack of all allied sync pairs after it uses a sync move. Um, Demoralize 6 might be better. I guess. Low radically lowers the attack of all opposing sync pairs. So uh, attack minus six after you use a sync move. Desperate measures once per battle drastically raises the users. Nope. Not going for those drastic in a pinch things. Devastation. The more the opponent's special attack has been lowered the more it powers up sync moves. This is what makes Alder super strong. Um, Dire Rain, critical hits land more easily. I don't think, I don't want the weather effects. I do not want weather effects. Um, dire Straits, Dire Straits, when your HP is at half or below, not good. Dirty Fighting, if you are affected by a status condition, if the opponent, rather, if the opponent is affected by a status condition, your moves get powerful. Let's call this Dirty Fighting 9 and make this a lot more powerful. 
So when the opponents are burned, or you know what, if, if they're burned, burn synergy 9, dirty fighting 9, that would be, that will work well. This Combobulate 4 has a good chance of lowering the target's accuracy when an attack is successful. This Combobulate 9 lowers the target's accuracy when an attack is successful. Is it, is it good enough? I mean, we already have um, Acerola or or someone to use Mud Slap on the enemy and then... Wait, Mud Slap? Acerola, was it Acerola? Hapu? Hapu? Mud Slap? And Clement? And... Uh, I don't think this Combobulate is great enough. So I think I want to remove this. When a Pokemon enters the battle, I don't think we want this. Unless it's Discourage 6. When you enter a battle, everyone's special attack goes down by 6 levels, but I'm gonna just remove that. I don't think anyone else will get this guys aside from Mimikyu. Dizzying power, the more the target's arc accuracy is lowered, the more it powers up moves. I'm gonna keep that since it's a multiplier. Double down, 2, 3, 5. I'm gonna call this double down 9. Powers up sync moves that are super effective. Dragon Guard, Dragon Shift, Release, Release, Durable 9. Makes the user be able to endure the next hit that will reduce it to 0 HP when a move is successful. Um, I think Durable 9 comes together with Lysia's trainer move, which is... I forgot what trainer move he ha she has, but... I don't want to check right now, but I'm checking anyway. Lysia has... I cannot find Lysia dragon type. Lysia has... Spotlight, please. Spotlight, please gives you durable knife. But what if this is not linked to a trainer move? So it's just a passive skill. You have durable nine. Opponent cannot kill you, except with a sync move. Only with a sync move can the opponent kill you. Because if, you know, once you have endure status, and then, um, you know, one HP, the opponent tries to kill you, you bring back that endure status. Wait, that that is actually, yeah. You, you, uh, ba l let me repeat, guys. Um, the opponent attacks you. You endure the hit. You lose the endure status. You attack the opponent. You bring back your endure status because of endurable 9 always triggers. And then the opponent attacks you again. You endure that hit. Durable 9 triggers again as you attack the opponent. And you never die except if the opponent uses a sync move on you. Once the opponent uses a sync move, you faint. You go away. You lose. But if this is not tied with a trainer move, that would be amazing. Dust Kicker um, causes a sandstorm. I'm releasing this. Dynamic N3 makes the user's attack sure hit. Not good. Eagle Eye 9 raises the user's critical hit rate. When the po user's Pokemon uses a move. I think I have discussed this already earlier. What if we have Critical Squad 3? Which is basically a better version of Eagle Eye 9. So Eagle Eye 9, when you use a move, your critical hit rate goes up. But if you have Critical Squad 3, when you use a move, everyone's critical hit goes up. Critical Squad 1 is just one critical hit rate up for one sync pair. But if it's probably Critical Squad 3, everyone's critical hit rate goes up by three levels. Not just one of you. Not just one. So I think it's safe to remove Eagle Eye right, uh, 9 right now. Electric Guard um, reduces damage when you're hit. Electro Repulsion I don't think anyone will get that. Emergency Barrier, when in a pinch release, um, 
allied uh, re raises the al defense when in a pinch. If the end battle Pokemon uh, enters the battle with full HP, allows it to endure a single of overwhelming attack with one HP left. I think endurance works very well with durable nine, or even without endurance. Once you use a move, you get Endure status, and you know, I already talked about that. Enlightenment is, ne is not exactly a good passive skill to have, and it's not exactly a great um, lucky skill to have. So basically, your stats do not go down below zero, but if your stat is like plus six or something, it could go down to zero, but it will not go down below zero, if I'm not mistaken. Something like that. Entry freebie, we have N and Zekrom that has that. I don't think any other sync pair will have this already. But your first move will not use a move gauge. Escape artist prevents the Pokemon from being trapped. This is kind of good for Nate and Braviary. So after using a sync move, you your um, evasiveness goes up by three levels. And this actually makes Nate quite good and quite OP. But what if this is Evasive Rush 6 and this is radically raises the user's evasiveness. So evasiveness plus 6 after you use your sync move for the very first time. You basically avoid the enemy's hits quite a lot. Quite OP. Fail forward 1 charges the user's move gauge by 1 when an opponent's attack targeting the user misses. I don't think anyone will. Um, I don't think anyone will get this fail forward six. I, I doubt there will be anyone that gets the moves or the passive skills of our um, seasonal units. So I am going to release this. Fainting cleanse re removes all status conditions just before the user faints. Fainting heal restores the HP of all allied sync pairs, other than the user just before. The user faints. I think Fainting Heal 9 would be awesome. Or Fainting Heal 6 or something like that. So when you faint, basically everyone's HP goes back to full. Actually, no. Let me put back Fainting Cleanse. And with Fainting Heal 9, or rather, if, if a Sync Pair has both, and your, your sync pair faints, you're back to square one. Uh, every single stats that have been raised will stay there. Everyone will have full HP back. Everyone will not be affected by any status condition. So, yeah, kind of good. Fairy Guard. Um, Fairy Power 5, uh, Professor Sycamore will get this, so I'm going to delete um, Fanfare 1 raises the attack, Fanfare 2, Skyla has this, sharply raises the, the attack of all allied sync pairs after it uses a sync move. Again, I think I already talked about this, um, there might be some better options for that uh, over here at the top, I don't know, but... Sharply raises the user's attack. Oh, fine, let's just give it a shot. Well, after you use a sync move, your attack or everyone's attack goes up to 6. Fast runner evasiveness cannot be lowered. I'm releasing that. Fast track 1, fast track 2, fast track 3, fast track 4, fast track. Fast track I don't think is a very um, awesome. It was not that great. So I'm going to remove that. Fierce Entry raises the user's attack. Sharply raises the user's attack. Fierce Entry 6 might be good though. Radically raises the user's attack when you enter the battle. So immediately when you enter the battle, your attack is already plus 6. No need to charge up strong as heck immediately at the start of the, of the battle. Oh my gosh, we're just at letter F. Fire Guard. First Aid 2, First Aid 4, let's talk about First Aid 9. Recover a lot of HP. Sidris restores a bit. Yeah, let's talk about First Aid 9. 
restores a lot of your HP actually when you are low on HP. Flavorgas occasionally leaves the target confused if a move is successful. I think I can remove that. Raises the attack of all allied seeing pairs. And when the user or when the user's Pokemon uses a move. I think Flag Bearer is paired up with a trainer move. And again, if this is not paired up with a trainer move, it's just, you know, normal move, uh, normal passive skill without any trainer move attached. Every time you attack, every time you move, everyone's attack goes up. Not bad. Not bad. Um, flame proof, delete. Fleet Feet 1 raises the user's speed when a move is successful. My stomach suddenly hurting. Radically raises the user's speed when a move is successful. Immediately after using this, your attack goes up to plus 6. Probably. Power up sync moves when the target is flinching. What about flinch hitter 9? Makes your um, sync moves a lot stronger, especially when the target is flinching. Flying guard, flying shift, I'm gonna release this. Focus group has a good chance of raising the critical hit rate of all allied sync pairs when the Pokemon uses a move. Let's make this focus group 9. Raises. The critical hit rate of all allied sync pairs when the Pokemon, when the user's Pokemon uses a move. Thing is, I think we have discussed this earlier with um, Critical Squad 3. Drastically raises the critical hit rate of all allied sync pairs when, an, uh, when a move is successful. So this one does not probably have to attack this one. Has to attack though, so delete. The, uh, the other one, the previous one was much better than this. Previous one was much better. For some reason, my my green screen is weird. My green screen is suddenly weird. Okay, let's go. Um, focus rush raises the user's critical hit rate. Delete. Um, follow through ensures that the next attack will be a critical hit rate when a move is successful i don't think that's needed that much um force field one force field four okay this is what is making cygnus suit blue an op sync pair so special defense goes up or has a good chance of raising the special defense of all allied sync pairs after you use a move but there's a way to make this better. That's Force Field 9. And that is a sure increase of special defense when you use a move. So that is much better compared to Force Field 4. Nobody has this yet. Um, for Tuitus 4, what if this is for Tuitus 9? Raises the attack. Special attack, defense, special attack, special defense, accuracy, blah, 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 at random when an attack is successful. Kind of stronger, kind of better. Yep, I'm sticking with that. Fall fighting, five. Why did I, th why do I think that I have discussed fall fighting earlier? I, I, I'm not sure if I have discussed this earlier. I, dirty fighting, okay. This one is status condition. Foul fighting is when the target is flinching, confused, or trapped. Again, this probably will be better with foul fighting 9. And nobody has it yet again. Freezer burn powers up sync moves when the target is frozen. Let's just make this 9. Let's just make this freeze synergy 9 powers up moves when the target is frozen. Okay. Okay, guys, we are progressing. Friendly care. Um, when a move targeting an allied sync pair is successful, restores the HP of the allied sync pair affected. 
what if we can recover a lot more than just one i'm not sure if this is six or nine but basically after you use that move on that sync pair full hp almost almost full hp nice nice Friendly Shield 1. When a move targeting an allied sync pair is successful, raises the defense of all allied sync pairs affected. Um, I think this is Dawn's good as new. Let's make it Friendly Shield 6. And let's make it like... Radic was it Radically? Radically, is it radically or drastically? I forgot if it's drastically or radically. Let me check. Radically, yep. Radically raises or plus six defense immediately when you use when you, you know, whatever trainer move this is linked to or whatever. Yeah, this is supposed to be a trainer move plus six defense immediately for that sync pair. So. There we go. If you use brawn, the more the target or the more your attack has been raised, the stronger your moves are. Cygna suits Cynthia and Komoo has this. And I need to get her to 3 out of 5 soon. Fuzzy Strike 5 powers up sync moves when the target is confused. Probably Fuzzy Strike 9 would be good. A multiplier again. And then moving on. Ghost Guard, not good enough good nightmare when the uh, when the target is asleep your moves get powered up let's give her or let's give them good nightmare nine make very very strong multipliers here go viral nine as always is is this is op as heck toxic go viral nine probably yeah we still lack a toxic go viral nine and it's bound to happen probably soon. It might happen soon. Because there's paralysis. There's hypnosis. The, the one that's next is poison. And there's already James who has poison gas. The next one is going to be toxic. Go viral 9. And I wonder who that is going to be. I wonder who that is going to be. Um, grand entry raise the user special attack. What if this is Grand Entry 6 and this is Radically Raises this user's special attack. So, plus 6 special attack immediately when you enter a battle. Grass Guard, Green Thumb, Green Thumb, I think that one, um, Green Thumb, who has this? Tapu Bulu has this. I will not remove that because we still don't have grassy terrain i'll put that there i'll keep that there let's see what happens gritty one two three four five not good for me ground guard ghost shift ground shift no rather not ghost shift but ground shift group dragon guard lily has this group therapy removes all status conditions guilt trip sharply lowers the special defense of all allied sync pairs what if this is guilt trip 6 radically lowers the special defense everyone's special defense goes down by 6 as you faint yes you faint but at least the enemy special attack goes down by 6 he'll rally and he'll bring her i think i think he'll rally is possible um, Hail Rally 9 raises the critical hit rate of ally, all allied sync pairs when the user's Pokemon uses a move in a hailstorm. Again, probably if we have a, a Ice Rider Calyrex or Qrem or Glastrier, this is probably possible. Harry. 2, 3, 5 powers up moves when the target is flinching. Let's give them Harry 9 to just make it a lot more powerful. Not 99. If only. If only. And then, haste. Speed cannot be lowered. Delete. Hasty hail. Quickly charges the move gauge in a hailstorm. Is it possible? Yes, it's possible. 
but I'm gonna remove this because not good enough. Haymaker, very good passive skill to have. Head start. Okay, guys. I forgot which head start. Um, I think it's head start 6 that... Um, who is this? Lear and Hoopa has. So basically, at the start of the battle, your sync move countdown minus 6. Immediately. That's like a few more moves to go. Everyone just attacks. And the next move is a sync move. But what do you think about Head Start 9? Head Start 9, at the start of battle, immediately sync move. Very start of the battle, sync move. Boom. 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 That is extremely OP. And it is available. I mean, it is data mined. It's part of the data or whatever you want to call this. So it's actually in the game, Head Start 9. Who will have Head Start 9 though? That would be super interesting to know if this is the unprecedented sync pair having this passive skill. Oh my goodness, that is amazing. Headstrong attack cannot be lowered. Healing hail um, restores the the Pokemon's HP whenever it takes action. Probably healing hail. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Let's just put nine. Once it attacks when it's healing, you recover a lot, a lot, a lot of HP. Healing hand two remove occasionally removes all status conditions. If this is Healing Hand 9, that would also be awesome. So basically, immediately everyone's status conditions get healed when you use a move. So removes all status conditions. Blah, blah, blah. Healing Sun. Again, if this is Healing Sun 9, that would be amazing. So giving everyone um, the, the, the uh, craziest things. I forgot what Healing Advantage is. I think this is something to do with um, not being affected by status conditions or your attacks get stronger. I forgot. Healthy buffer 5 is for Lysander and Iveltal and I have to admit this is kind of OP. I don't think anyone will get this because Lysander is a very new sync pair. This unprecedented sync pair will not get this passive skill. Sure. Because Lysander is gonna be released like a few weeks before this unprecedented capability sync pair. So what this does is that it reduces the damage of the opponent by around half when your HP is full. So taking into account Lysander's low defenses, this makes your your H you know you not suffer quite a lot of damage. And then he also has healthy healing, which will help you recover HP as well. And then healthy buffer 5 will trigger again, and so on and so forth. Healthy healing is awesome. As always, I will not remove you. Hem in 2 has a moderate chance of lowering the target's evasiveness when an attack is successful. Personally, because I don't think evasiveness is such a huge issue, Except if the opponent is in the champion stadium where it's very irritating that I think we can remove him in from our list. Um, hide and sync. The more the target's accuracy has been lowered, the more it powers up sync moves. High five one. Raises the or, so, user's attack, defense, special attack, special defense, and speed after it uses a sync move. You know what? This would be OP. This would be OP. After you use a sync move, your attack, defense, special attack, special defense, and speed go up by 6. That is OP. There are, um, there's one sync pair coming that can partially do this, and that is, um, this is 
Professor Sycamore. Professor Sycamore will increase your special attack, special defense, and speed of everyone by 6 because you're getting him at 5 out of 5 after you do missions and stuff. But it doesn't increase attack and defense. So, high fives. Uh, I mean, if there's a sync pair that can actually raise everyone's attack or special attack, special defense, and speed by 6 with just one sync move, I think this is possible. I think this is possible, guys. This is not exaggerating at all. I think this is possible. High five 6. Um, combine this with other passive skills and you get a very, very strong sync pair. Um, hit and heal 9 makes the user gradually heal itself when a move is successful. I think this is... This is good. I'll keep it like this. Hold fast. This is for Pierce and Obstagoon. I'll remove this. Hostile environment. One, two, three, four. Four is already for Volkner and Luxray. But what if the opponent... Or what if we have hostile environment? Nine. Every time. Or even hostile environment ten. I think Entei in Legendary Arena... Part 3 has this. So every time he uses Heat Wave, I think it's Heat Wave, everyone gets burned. And this would be awesome if this is like Frozen, or Burn, or Paralysis, or anything like that. And uh, yeah, ev ev instantly, opponent gets. Uh, opponent has a status condition as you do this. So that is actually crazy, crazy. Um, HP advantage, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. The more HP you have, the more it powers up moves again. Exaggerate this to HP advantage, 9. The more HP you have, the stronger your moves are. HP trade-off is the exact opposite. The lower your HP has, the stronger your moves are. Again, HP trade-off, 9 would be awesome. But... Nobody has it yet, so I'm removing this. Hunker Down is for Piers and Obstagoon looking forward to getting. Hunter's Instinct is a multiplier for the Sync Grid as well. Hype Up 1 has a small chance of raising the special attack of all allied Sync pairs when the user's Pokemon uses a move. Probably Hype Up 9 raises the special attack of all allied Sync pairs. When you use a move, yep, not bad, not bad, good, good one, good one. But again, there are better options, there are better options. Ice Guard, Ice Shell, Ice Shell, I would not remove this just because I think it's possible that any strong Ice type will have this. Impatient 1, what about Impatient 9? Reduces the sync move countdown by one when you are hit. Every time you are hit, your sync move countdown goes down by one. And which this is OP, this is strong, this is nice, this is good. Impervious is the best out of every single non cannot be lowered thing. So impervious is good. Impose lowers the evasiveness. Of all allied opposed, opposing sync pairs. I'm gonna put impose 6. Everyone's evasiveness goes down minus 6. So this is much better than than the other evasiveness lowering things. Um, Inclement intellect has a great chance when the weather is rainy. Rainy? No thank you. I'd rather don't have any weather effects at all. Indomitable 1 has a very good chance of raising the user's special attack if your attack is lowered. I'll remove this. I'll prefer not having something happen first before raising any of my stats. Inertia. Inspire R makes the user makes opponents target the user. Remove insult to injury. The more the opponent's defense has been lowered, the stronger your moves are. Interference Immunity is a better version of Quick Cure. You will never get flinched, confused, or trapped. Invigorating Hail 
the when it's healing your attacks get more powerful so again probably for for your ice type units a future super strong ice type unit might get this last dash when in a pinch when in a pinch remove last word uses explosion immediately before fainting i'll probably keep this like this and imagine we have um last word plus guilt trip six lowers everyone's special defense by six and i think there's one more i forgot where it is but it's somewhere in there demoralize six lowers the attack by six lowers the special attack by six and uses explosion <laughs> pretty good but i wonder who will have this genesect will does genesect have have explosion i don't know leg up two once per battle reduces the sync move countdown by one when you enter the battle nah nah no nope. lessen affliction probably keep it there or lessen burn lessen you know what no i will reduce i will remove this lessen flinch lessen interference lessen 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 remove prevents the pokemon from getting paralyzed remove lock step nine charges the move gauges of all island sync pierce by one when a move is successful if this is not paired up with a trainer move i guess this is awesome so every time you move you do something your move gauge goes up by three if all three of them of or all three of your sync pairs is still alive this might be good ah uh, look alive nine is actually good when you are hit your evasiveness goes up sickness with ls and rotom already have this and it's a pretty good passive skill except that you have to be hit lucky entry two um i think lucky entry six would be awesome drastically or rather radically raises the attack defense special attack special defense or special or evasiveness at random when you enter the battle so when you start a battle um one of your stats maxed already so it's pretty good mad strength mad strength mad strength i rather go for mad strength nine and it goes like raises the users raises the use what the heck am i typing raises the uh, the pokemon's attack when one of your attacks successful immediately master healer to master healer to give us a very nice who the heck has master healer six lyra and jigglypuff guys give me a sec as i check out what this master healer six of lyra and jigglypuff is because i don't have my lyra and jigglypuff at three out of five so give me a sec what does this do solo act solo act master healer six solo act charges the user's move gauge by two charges the user's move gauge by four if you're asleep um restores if the user is asleep restores a bit of the user's hp and removes the asleep condition from the user now if this is potion or if this is layup layup can recover everyone's hp unfortunately i don't think that will happen but what if this is like master healer nine and there's someone with a potion like this is a full restore not just a potion a full restore full restore full restore guys mind games there's a good chance of lowering the uh, uh, targets special defense when an attack is successful again sundering nine is much better than this mind game um lowers the target special defense has a good chance lowers yep 
Um, Sundering 9 is better. Mind Swell raises the special attack. Let's give him Mind Swell 9. Raises the user's special attack when the Pokemon uses a move. Nobody has this yet, I think. But this would be good to have. Mind's Eye reduces um, the reduction of accuracy. I'm gonna delete this. And guys, we have come to the interesting part. Now, I have seen this passive skill when I was reading through, uh, browsing, or skimming through the list of passive skills. And I believe that this is the most OP out of every single passive skill there is. Momentum. After using a sync move, reduces by 1 for momentum 1 the upper value of the countdown until a sync move can be used. 2 is reduces by 2, 3 is reduces by 3, 4, 5, 6. If you guys don't understand what this is, basically you start a battle, your countdown or sync move countdown starts at 9. You use a move, it goes down to 8. Use another move 7, use another move 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, until you can use a sync move. Basically, momentum 1, after using a sync move, your maximum instead of 9 will become 8. After you use another sync move, momentum 1 will still be there, it goes down to 7. And it will be 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. And after you use a sync move, it will be 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. If you use a sync move, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Use a sync move, 4, 3, 2, 1. And so on and so forth. That's momentum 1. Let's talk about momentum 2. After you use, your sync move countdown starts at 9. After using a sync move, minus 2. That's 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. 0, use a sync move, minus 2 again. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Use a sync move. 3, 2, 1. Use a sync move. 1. Use a sync move. Use a sync move. Use a sync move. Use a sync move. Everything sync moves. Now imagine momentum 9. You never have to attack. Every single attack is a sync move. And even though probably uh, your sync pair, the sync pair that has this is a support sync pair or a tech sync pair, not a striker. You know, just have them use the sync move first. Lower your sync move countdown and use your 6 star EX striker to hit everyone forever and ever and repeat if they're not yet dead repeat 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 six star ex sync move 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 every single turn is this what dynamax is because i don't know is this what dynamax is guys momentum i honestly don't know but out of everything that I have read, this is the most insane and most OP of all passive skills that I have read. It's even better than Head Start 9. You know what? If you, com if you actually combine Heads, where, where the heck is Head Start 9? Reduces the Sync Move Countdown by 9. So immediately when you enter a battle, use a Sync Move. And then because of that, because you use a sync move immediately, momentum 9 triggers. And you don't have to use any other attack ever again. You just use a sync move, 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 forever. If there's something that can be more OP than that, I, I have no words. I have no words. You know what? Even with momentum 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, any of these are OP as heck. Again, this is not just uh, you can only trigger this once. This is not 
once per battle, this is all the time. So if it's a long battle, your sync move countdown, if you have momentum one, again from 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, every time you use a sync move, you reduce your maximum counter by 1. And I cannot imagine anything more OP than this. Any sync pair with momentum 1 is gonna be a force to be reckoned with. Head start 9, momentum 1, or even without head start actually. Momentum 1, just momentum 1 alone is going to change the Pokemon Masters game completely. And you know what? This has been data mine. I'm not sure how long this has been there, but this is already in the list of all available passive skills in the game as you can see over here. This is in the list of passive skills. No Sing Pair has it, no Lucky Cookie has it, but it's there. And either it's gonna be a legendary arena boss that has this, or a Saint pair that has this, I'm looking forward to whoever will get this because that is going to change the game forever. And with that said, let's move on. Move Gauge Refresh, we have we have already saw Move Gauge Refresh so many times. I would even, you know what? Move Gauge Refresh, too common. Too common move gauge refresh 9 probably okay. Let's just keep it there. MP refresh. MP refresh potion. I think is is MP refresh 4 there? Good MP refresh 4. What about MP refresh 9? MP refresh 9 restores 1 MP. Basically, never running out of MP for that single move forever. I don't think anyone will get this. But 7? 5? Five? 5 might be possible. But I don't think 9 will be possible. I don't think so. Um, mutually Assured, I don't think that's, that's perfect. Natural Remedy, once per battle, too common. No quarter maximizes the number of times multi-strike moves hit. Always appreciated here. Normal guard. Oak's research just for Professor Oak. Offensive defense. There's a small chance of, races, of raising the user's defense when an attack is successful. Um, offensive defense 9 raises the user's defense. When an attack is successful, probably good. I don't know. Never heard of it. On a roll. Raises the chance of lowering stat values. What if on a roll 9? Do we have on a roll 9? Yeah. We have on the roll on a roll 9, guys. So let me just remove this. Raises the chance of lowering stat values. If, if we have a move that can lower the opponent's stats by everything, that would be awesome. On the rope, on the ropes three reduces when it is in a pinch. Not a fan of the pinch thing. Not a fan of the pinch. Not a fan of pinch. Not a fan of pinch. Opening shakeup. I forgot what this is about, but let me put that there. Lowers the target's defense when attack is successful against a confused opponent. Probably I don't want the confuse. I just want to lower the target's defense. Outrun. Outrun when the uh, Pokemon is affected by a status condition. I think I will remove that. Has a good chance of raising the user's attack when opponent's attack targeting the user misses. Probably out muscle 9 raises the user's attack. Not the best again, not the best because there are others that are better. Raises the user's special attack out muscle 9. Outsmart 9, Outmuscle 9. So let me just mark that in red because it's not yet available. Outpower, overpower rather. The more the targets or the more the opponent's special attack has been lowered, the more it powers up moves. 
Overwhelm lowers the target's attack when an attack is successful. Mallow and Serena. Oh, yes. Paralysis Synergy powers up moves when the target is paralyzed. Again, Paralysis Synergy 9, much better. Makes your attacks much stronger when the opponent is paralyzed. Party Crashers, um, basically everyone will have a critical hit when you enter the battle. Cygnus Suit Blue has this, but I don't have it on him. I remove it. Not the best. Pass it on only for um, co-op. Pecking order, the more the target's attack is lower, the more it powers up sync moves. For multiplier, not bad. Pep Rally 1 raises the speed of all allied sync pairs when a move is successful. We have Pep Rally 2 though, but I think I want Pep Rally 6. Radically raises. And radically plus 6, if I'm not mistaken the speed of all allied sync pairs when a move is successful and then piercing blows and then Zekrom has this it is not bad i will keep it there um basically ignores passive skills no stat or rather what, what can we read this together ignores passive skills that would target or that would protect the target from whatever um piercing blows Yep. Wait, let me resize the column again to 500, sorry. Piercing Gaze, moves never miss. Again, what makes Cygnus Suit Red quite powerful in my opinion is Piercing Gaze. Where is my resize columns? I lost it. I lost my resize columns thing. There it is. 750. Okay. Pinpoint entry, raise the user accuracy, delete, delete poison guard, pokey trap. When the poke, when the opponent is trapped, the tar the damage it receives from being trapped is increased. I don't think uh, uh, an up unprecedentedly strong sync pair will have this. But let's not let's not remove that possibility. You know, I've also been thinking of something that can introduce um, entry damage. Like, for example, in the Pokemon, in the mainline Pokemon games, there's there's spikes, there's toxic spikes. When the Pokemon enters the battle, or when the opponent enters the battle, the opponent gets poisoned immediately. Probably there's gonna be something like that. There's also Lapras or Gigantamax Lapras, which has uh, G-Max Resonance or something like that. I don't think they're in here yet in the passive skills, but that's gonna be interesting if they have it. So, Poke Trap 9 increases the damage the opponents receive when they are trapped. Positive Reinforcement 3. When we knock out an opponent, we raise our attack and special attack by 3 levels. If this is positive reinforcement, 6 radically raises the user's speed and special, or rather attack and special attack if we knock out an opponent. So, every time we make an opponent faint, our Attack and special attack goes up by six levels. Sharply raises the user's speed when the Pokemon when the user is hit by an attack move. Post haste nine. Yeah. Pretty OP. Let's keep it there. Potent toxin increases the amount of damage the uh, the target takes from being poisoned or badly poisoned. Let's put potent toxin nine and make Cygnus Suit Leaf even stronger if that's even possible. Um, power chain, I would remove this. There's no co-op at all right now. Power flux one, two, three, four, five. There's power. Let's introduce a power flux nine and make ourselves quite strong. The fuller the move gauge, the more it powers up moves. Wait. Power induction, powers up moves in the field is in electric terrain. I'll probably remove this. I don't think anyone will get this anymore. Power loving, the more the target stats have been lowered, the more it powers up moves. 
Palentine's Dawn has it. I don't think anyone else would have this, but I'm keeping it there. Power posture, the more the target's attack has been lowered, the more it powers up moves. Now, Mallow and Dawn already have this power reserves. Uh, in a pinch, in a pinch, in a pinch, delete. Power Siphon lowers the target's attack and raises the user's attack by an equal amount when the user is hit by an, an attack move. I'd probably keep it there. It's not the best, but it's not the worst either. It's quite good. And Dawn has it. It sometimes saves me from Bruno in Champion Stadium. Precision Pulse 1 raises the accuracy of all allied sync pairs when a move is successful. Let's put it Precision Pulse 6 radically. Raises the accuracy. Accuracy plus 6 when an attack is successful. Precision Rush raises the user's accuracy after using a sync move. Again, this can be like Precision Rush 6. Radically raises the user's accuracy after it uses the same move. Precision Pulse is better than this though. But I'm gonna keep it there. I've been quite mixed up with all my <laughs> above discussions. Sometimes I include good stuff. Sometimes I, I don't include the good stuff except the best. But you get what I mean. Recognition quickly charges the, the move gauge if the field is in uh, psychic terrain and probably remove that. When in a pinch, when in a pinch, when in a pinch, remove. Okay, propulsion guys, propulsion. Propulsion 9. Reduces the user's sync move countdown by 1. When the user's move is successful. Every time you use a move, your sync move countdown goes down by one. And if I'm not mistaken, there's also a thing that we have earlier. I forgot where it is. Impatient 9, when we are hit, the sync move countdown goes down by one as well. When we attack and when we hit, if they have both Impatient 9 and Propulsion 9, the countdown will go down very fast. Psychic Guard, not exactly great. Pump Up quickly charges the move gauges of all allied sync pairs by 2 after using a sync move. Nah, 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 nah. Q Cutter, Q Cutter 9 reduces. The sync move countdown by 1. When an opponent's attack move, targeting the user misses. OP. When when the opponent misses, your sync move countdown goes down by 9 uh, by 1. Quick combo. There's a moderately good chance of res refreshing the number of times the user can use its quick moves by 1 when an attack is successful. So Nate and Bravery, quick combo 3 is already OP enough for me. I don't even need to think about quick combo 4, 5, 6. It's already good enough for me. Um, quick Cure. Uh, no, because there's Interference in Immunity, which is better than Quick Cure. Raising Rain quickly charges the move gauge. When the weather is raining, raging rain, raging rain. Again, I don't exactly like weather effects, so I'm gonna remove this. I'll keep raging rain though. Raging rain nine. Powers up moves when the wet. Fine, you know what? Probably I I'm a bit unfair with this. Fine. Raging rain nine and raging rain nine might be awesome. So let's just remove this. Raging Rain 9 quickly charges the move gauge and powers up moves when it's raining. Rain Gear reduces damage when the Pokemon is hit when it is raining. What if this is again Rain Gear 9? 
and then ramming speed you know what this is the higher your speed is the stronger your moves are raises ramp up one raises the use of special attack when a move is successful ramp up six might be better radically raises the use of special attack when a move is successful delete this recuperation one and two so restores the user's hp after it uses the same move if you want your sync pairs to probably never faint either recuperation six or nine will restore your hp by a huge bit probably it's maximum six when you use a sync move refreshing rain restores the pokemon's hp when it takes action when the weather is rainy again i'm not sure if this is one six or nine is the maximum here but this would be good relentless the the more the target's defense has been lowered the more this targets this the more this powers up sync moves rejuvenate six is good uh charges the user's move gauge by six after it uses sync move what is this resilience nullifies further conditions inflicted upon the pokemon after status conditions and flinching confuse and trap conditions are removed from it oh i think this is a passive skill of one of the legendary arena bosses i think this is good let's keep it at there revenge boost basically charges the move gauge by one every time you're hit ridicule nine Restores the user's HP when the opponent misses. Nice, especially if you're very evasive. And then, uh, Ripple Effect 4, like Palantine's Dawn and El Creamy. I don't think anyone will get this, but this is very good. So I'll remove this. I don't think, because I don't think anyone will get this. Um, Rising Tide, the more the user's stats have been raised, the more it powers up sync moves. So um, this probably couples well with some other sync move nukes or sync move multipliers will be pretty good. Um, Rock Guard, Rude Awakening powers up sync moves when the target is asleep. Let's put this at the Rude Awakening 9. I just realized that I've been speaking for 1 hour and 30 minutes already. I hope you guys are not bored listening to this. <laughs> Um, safeguarded entry blocks status conditions from affecting the allied field of play the Pokemon enters the battle safety net makes all allied sync pairs able to endure the next hit they take when a sync move is used for the first time this is better than safety tether because it's only safety tether is just for one safety net is for all so I'm gonna remove safety tether sandblaster Nine powers up sync moves in a sandstorm. Sand fortress stats cannot be lowered in a sandstorm. Delete. Special defense increases 50% in a sandstorm. I guess that's okay. Sands of time nine probably would be good. Quickly charge the move gauge when in a sandstorm. Sand Shelter prevents the Pokemon from damage. Very typical. I'm gonna remove this just because. Satisfied Snarl. Lowers the target special attack when a move targeting that opponent is successful. Every time you attack the opponent, the opponent's special attack goes down. Scorcher. Increases the amount of damage the target takes from being burned. Scorcher 9. Um, selfless makes opponents target the user for the short time when a move is successful in a pinch very bad shared fortune okay guys this is one of those interesting stuff shared fortune six radically raises the attack defense special attack special defense speed accuracy or evasiveness of all allied sync pairs at random when an attack is successful so everyone will have a stat max out when Shared Fortune 6 triggers or something like that. Sharp MT3 would be nice. Um, we, start, um, we start the battle 
with maximum critical hit rate drastically raises the user's critical hit rate when the Pokemon enters a battle. Maximum critical hit rate immediately. Shielded Squad sharply raises the defense of all Eyelid Sync pairs. When a move is successful, this can be Shielded Squad 6 and radically raises the defense. So you use a move, your defense goes up by 6. Unless the opponent attacks you, lowers your defense, you increase it again. Shielding Strikes 9. 1. Raises the user's defense when a move is successful. This is less better. I mean, Shielded Squad is better than shielded Shielding Strikes. So I am removing this. Shifting Sand. Boost the po Pokemon's evasiveness in a sandstorm. I'm removing this. Shifty Striker. Shifty Striker 9 might be good. Raises the user's evasiveness when you use a move. Always evasiveness plus 1, plus 1, plus 1, plus 1, plus 1. Shock Recovery when you're in electric terrain, you recover some HP. I'll put Shock Recovery 9 probably here. And Shook 2 sharply raises if your HP drops to below half. I don't want anything that involves my HP lowering. Shower Power 9. Powers up sync moves if the weather is rainy. Oh, if it's raining, your sync moves get powered up a lot. Raises the user's evasiveness when a move is successful. How about, you know what? Slippery Sidekicks is better. So what if this is Slippery Sidekicks 6 radically raises... Okay guys, I think this is quite OP. So Slippery Sidekicks 6, everyone's evasiveness plus 6 in one move. In one move, everyone has maximum evasiveness. OP! OP! Very OP! Slippery Slope raises the user's evasiveness when the opponent misses you. Smart Cookie, the stronger or the higher your special defense is, the stronger your moves are. Smarty Pants, the more the target's special defense is lowered, the more it powers up sync moves. Ooh! Another, uh, this one, I rarely see this sync move multiplier. Interesting. This might be Berg will probably pair up very well with um, Dawn because Dawn can lower the opponent's special defense. Um, Snow Shelter protects the Pokemon from damage in a hailstorm. Yeah, let's let's keep it there. Solar Flare powers up sync moves when the weather is sunny again. Solar Flare 9 might be much better than Solar Flare. A lower number of solar players. Solar shield. The Pokemon is not affected by status conditions. Yeah. Did I remove my my ice shield or something like that earlier? I forgot. Solarize makes the user sunny after using a sync move. I'm just gonna remove this. Soothing sand one. Probably soothing sand nine restores the Pokemon's HP after it takes action during a sandstorm. Soup Up has a moderate chance of raising the user's special attack. If this is Soup Up 9, raises the user's special attack. When the user is hit by an attack move. Special Reserves, again, this is in a pinch. Nope, gonna ignore that. Speeding Sun 9 quickly charges the move gauge when the weather is sunny. Um, Nobody has this, so I'm gonna put it in red. Speedy Entry, Speedy Entry 2, Speedy Entry 6 to radically raise my speed immediately when I enter the battle. My speed is already plus 6. Spur On charges the move gauge by 1 each time another Pokemon on the field of play faints. 
probably spur on six will be a good maximum here. So every time a Pokemon on the field faints, you have full move gauge. Staggering. We have Staggering 5 of Kukui and Lycanroc, and that's why I like him so much. But Staggering 9 will assure us that the target will flinch immediately once we use a move. Makes the target flinch when an attack is successful. Stalwart special defense cannot be lowered. Stamina reserves release. Stance change only on Wickstrom and Aegis Slash here. Stand fast. Recoil damage things. Um, I'm not sure if if the the sync fair we will have is gonna have a recoil damage thing, but stand fast is a meh, and it's already part of. They should have it, but I'm releasing. I'm removing this. Stats quo. If this is like a stats quo nine, and the the move requires lowering the stats, this will immediately return the lowered stats to normal when a move is a successful. Um, I don't see the purpose of having this though. They'd rather, I'd rather not lower my stats at all instead of lowering my stats and bringing it back because of a passive skill, which is weird. Static Shock 9, Power Sub Sync moves when the target is paralyzed. We have a legendary electric type already though so i'm not sure i'm not sure stationary target power sub moves when the target is trapped again making everyone op i'm so thirsty my throat is hurting i hope you give this a thumbs up even though i'm probably spouting nonsense like this stat leech is a good chance of lowering the target's attacks special defense blah 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 at random when um, an attack is successful, raises the user's stat by the same. If this is stat leech 9, lowers... Sorry. Every time you attack the opponent, you lower one of their stats and increase your stats by the same amount. Whatever stat that is lowered for the opponent. Stat reboot when in a pinch, remove. Steady aim, critical hit rate cannot be lowered. Let's remove that. Steady resolve, remove. Steel guard, remove. Sterner stuff. If this is Sterner stuff, 9 reduces damage when you are hit by a physical attack. Wallace already has Sterner stuff, 2 reduces the attack by around 20%, probably. Physical attack moves. But with Sterner stuff, 9, huge huge um, redu reduction um, stoic 4 has a good chance of raising the Pokemon's defense after it uses a move if this is stoic 9 every time you use a move your defense goes up oh my gosh we are letter S right now and I really want to finish this very quickly Stop hitting yourself. Raises the chance that an opponent will attack themselves due to being confused. I think I will remove this because I don't think they're gonna have it. So this, 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 this. There you go, guys. Sundering 9. What makes Cygna Suit leave? OP. Because every time you use an attack against the opponent, their defense or special defense or both of the opponent gets lowered. Supercharger 2. Occasionally raises the user's attack or special attack when a move targeting an opponent is successful. What if this is supercharges? Supercharger 9. Raises the user's special atta attack. Or special attack or both when you are attacking when when you target when a move targeting an opponent is successful I think this is for snatch 
of Grimsley, but I'm not sure. Super duper effective one, two, three, four, five. We have Alder with super duper effective nine, which is pretty insane. Super interference one raises the chance of inflicting status conditions as well as the flinching. This is pretty OP already from uh, Skyla and Togekiss, but if we put Super Interference 9, it will become even stronger. And then we're almost there, we're almost done. Surging Sand 9 powers up moves in a sandstorm. Swag Bag, I'm not sure, probably Swag Bag 9, I've never seen this in action. Raises the chance of increasing your stat values when you use a move. So, um, what move is that? What move does does he have? From Ancient Power and I forgot what move. Berg? Is it Berg? Let me check, guys. Silver Wind. Silver Wind has a very small chance of raising the user's attack, defense, special attack, special defense, and speed. So every time, if you have Swag Bag Nine, every time you you raise all six. Attack, special attack, defense, special defense, and speed. All five stats. Sync burst restores MP for the user. Um, probably sync burst two restores two MP for the user you know, when the sync move is used for the first time. For the first time, though. Now nah, release. Sync emergency powers up sync moves in a pinch. No, in a pinch here. Makes the user's move gauge not use move gauge levels after the sync move. Let's remove this. Sync induction parts up sync moves when they use when the field is in electric terrain. Nobody has this. Does 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 um does Volkner not have this? You know what? I'm keeping this here. This looks interesting and sus at the same time. Sync quickening. Re refle refreshes the number of times it can use its quick moves. I'm re releasing this. Restores the HP of all allied sync pairs after using a sync move. If this is synchro healing 9, every time you use a sync move, everyone's HP goes up to full. Tactical shakeup, I'm not sure. Team defense crush 9. I think an opponent in the Legendary Arena has this lowers the defense of all opposing sync pairs when an attack is successful Team fist bump 9 But you know Cygnus suit blue is already OP enough and I don't think this is gonna happen anymore Restores the HP of all allied sync pair when an attack is successful, see how we can invent some stuff to make ourselves so overpowered, guys. Team Hit and Heal makes all allied sync pairs gradually heal themselves when a move is successful. Team Lucky N36 raises or radically raises the attack, blah blah, at random. When a move is success, when when what? When the Pokemon enters a battle, everyone will have one stat to max. When you enter the battle, everyone. Team Mind Games nine lowers the special defense of all opposing sync pairs when an attack is successful. Nobody has Team Lucky Entry 6, my mistake. A team Out Muscle 1 or Team Out Muscle 9 raises the attack of all allied sync pairs when an opponent's attack targeting the user misses. And again, I don't think anyone will have this except for peers. Team Shout. 9 is better than Team Shout 4 of Professor Sir Sycamore and Xerneas, which is Cygnus with Blue. Every time you get hit, your attack or special attack or both increase by 1. That's what makes Cygnus with Blue extremely amazing. Team Speedy Entry 
six radically raises the speed of all allied sync pairs when you enter the battle. So everyone at max speed as you enter the battle. Team sync regen is good for Lily. Makes all allied sync pairs gradually heal themselves after the user uses sync move. Team toughen up. Nine. Raises the, the defense of all allied sync pairs when the user is hit by an attack move. And to make Cygnus Suit Blue again overpowered, we have Team Triage Tank 9 restores the HP of all allied sync pairs when the user is hit by an attack move. Super, super OP. Team Wide Awake prevents all allied sync pairs from falling asleep. Terrify 6. Is it called Radically Lowers? I'm not sure. Radically lowers the attack of all opponents of all opposing sync pairs. So everyone's attack minus 6 immediately when you start the battle. Third act when in a pinch. Let's remove this. Um, tighten up. Nine has a or rather raises raises the special attack of the user when it is hit by an attack move. Torrential ter tenacity needs rain, so I'm gonna remove this. Tough cookie, the more your defense has been raised, the more it powers up moves. Toughen up. Raises the user's defense. When the user is hit by an attack move. Toxic chance. Um, has a good chance of lowering, leaving the target poison, toxic power. Um, I think I can remove this toxic chance thing. But toxic power 9 will be very strong though. Powers up moves. When the, po when the opponent is poisoned or badly poisoned. Train buddy. Remove this, remove this, remove this. Trip up. Four. There's a good chance of lowering the target speed. Or rather, let's just lowers the target speed when an attack is successful. How long have I been? Almost two hours. I'm kind of tired, guys. Please give this a thumbs up. Trip up. Nine. Tripwire lowers the speed of all opposing sync pairs when the Pokemon enters a battle. To make this a bit more OP, Tripwire 6 lowers or radically lowers the speed of all opposing sync pairs. So immediately at the start of the battle, opponent's speed is at minus 6. So if you have Cakewalk, if you have Hunter's Instinct, Maximum damage immediately. Troublemaker 1 is already almost hits all the time. Probably Troublemaker 2, Troublemaker 3, is if that's a thing. Raises the chance of success for status moves that inflict status conditions. Turbo charge quickly charges the move gauge when the field is in the electric terrain. I'm gonna remove this. Unbending, unflappable. Unfortuitous 9 lowers the target's attacks, defense, special attack, speed, accuracy, or evasiveness at random. Unhindered when a Pokemon attacks, ignores damage reducing effects on the opponent's field of play. Unyielding 9. Basically, if you get hit when you're in the endure status, you'll have an endure status again. So, allows the user. Wait, allows the user to endure an uh, an additional hit. So basically, this is better than what we discussed much earlier, which I will not go back there. You will never die with a normal move, but with a sync move, you will die. But with a normal move, you never die. You come back again and again and again and again. 
And then this is for Cygnus Suit Leaf. Venomous 4 has a good chance of lowering or leaving the target badly poisoned. To make this a bit more OP, let's put Venomous 9 leaves the target badly poisoned. When a move targeting an opponent is successful. So every time you hit opponent badly poisoned except if opponent has anti-toxin or anything like that. Vigilance, always appreciated. You will not be hit by critical hits. Water Guard, Water Shift, I'm gonna remove this. Weather Surge, if there's a weather effect, your attacks get stronger. So Weather Surge 9 would be amazing. Weird Recovery, Bianca has it, but I don't think anyone else will get it. So I'm gonna remove this. Wide open, the more the target's evasiveness has been lowered, the more it powers up, sync moves. Oh my gosh, we're finally done. Wise entry. Six. Radically raises. Raises the user's special defense when a Pokemon enters the battle. So immediately, once you enter the battle, start with plus six special defense which is amazing and if you have any multipliers with special defense that's gonna be super strong Weety come back in a pinch no thank you zero in one kind of okay wait is this guys I'm not sure if this is called zero in one or zero in one is it zero in one or zero in one because it, it I guess it can work both ways what if this is Zero in. Nine. Critical hits land more easily when an attack is used. So every time, critical hit, critical hit, critical hit, critical hit, critical hit. <sighs> We're done, guys. I am so tired. I've been speaking for the last almost two hours straight non-stop with you guys. I hope... Yeah, this is just... Assuming this is just discussing all the passive skills that are in the game and imagining stuff that are not yet in the game which can or may not come to the game. If you appreciated this, I hope you give this a thumbs up. If you have watched this from beginning to end, I applaud you. Give yourselves a thumbs up and a pat on the back because... You have listened to me ramble about for the last hour and I am exhausted as heck. So, personally, you know, so many different passive skills. And again, if I will uh, reiterate what I said earlier, I think one of the things that make a sync here overpowered or what makes a sync, one of the things that can make a sync here have unparalleled capabilities is the passive skills that it is has it has sickness with blue is for me the best tanker and as well as the best booster because of you know whenever he gets hit your attack or defense or both or rather attack or special attack or both i think that's team shout 9 increases and you don't have to use any trainer move to increase your special attack or attack um, Cygnus Suit Leaf is the best debuffer, one of the best because every time you use um, Razor Leaf, the opponents, when the opponents get hit, the opponents defense or special defense or both lower down because of um, Sundering 9. And then uh, Cygnus Suit Red hits very painfully or very strongly to the opponent because of piercing gaze and probably some other stuff that makes Cygnus Suit Red, you know, very strong. Now, again, if I were to look back, this, this is the best passive skill, I think, that whatever I have discussed earlier, this one. Momentum. The Momentum series, after using a sync move, reduces by 1 the upper value of the countdown until a sync move can be used. 
So you start with 9. Any battle, you start with 9. Some battles, you start with 6. I forgot if there's battles that you start with 4. But after you use a sync move with momentum 1, the maximum becomes 8. After you use a sync move again, the maximum becomes 7. And so on and so forth until you never have to even use anything else except the sync move. Momentum 9 is crazy. Immediately at the very start of the battle, you know, you just use your first sync move and never have to use any single move again. Non-stop bombard the enemies. Sync move, sync move, sync move, sync move. If that's not even enough to kill the opponents, I don't know what is more overpowered than this. And with that said, guys, let me know. Let me know which one of these passive skills or invented passive skills some of these are, you know, your favorites. And can you think of any other passive skills that can be better than this? Probably, you know, there there can be a passive skill that you start with a bat you start a battle with Physical and special shield. I mean that that is what G Max resonance is of of um, of G Max Lapras, which I'm going to discuss about Dynamax and Gigantamax in another video, in probably part two or part three of this sync pair with unprecedented capabilities discussion things. But for part one, see how long part one was. That's why I like to, I, I, I really, I really um, needed to split this video into several cuts and several parts because just discussing the passive skills alone, two hours, wow, two hours. Again, if you've watched this from the beginning to end, thank you for watching. You are awesome. You are so awesome. Thank you so much. With that said, I'm done. It's 5 and I need to take a shower and go to sleep. Give this a thumbs up again. Comment your thoughts. Comment your favorites. Share this with your friends. Subscribe if you haven't. Thank you again to all the members of my channel. Thank you to all super chatters. Thank you. You guys are so generous and kind and awesome. Shadow Phil, So Nicholas, Morris Gaming, Aryan Singh, Blaze, Johnny Dogs, John9019, Treasure Gamers, Gzilla 2 aj Roy Ackerman, Love Mats. Thank you. And whoever wants to join me, help me to help support my channel and help me gain, purchase a couple of gems for you guys. I can scout for you guys. Click on the join button down below and you can help me out. If this is a premiere or anything like that, I'm still deciding whether to just upload this or set this as a premiere. There, If this is a premiere, there might be a dollar sign or something beside the emoticons over to the right side and there you can send me a super chat and you know it's a one-time donation thing if you enjoyed this with that said thank you for watching see you in part two